الحمد لله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله ما بعد جزاك الله خير for everybody joining this uh, evening um, I really appreciate your time and on behalf of Al Nur Foundation we really welcome you inshallah to this webinar uh, this webinar is a series of our webinars that we have actually outlined for parents and students and on this particular session we are talking about personal statements so if you are a student you'll find it very very useful inshallah if you're a parent likewise you will find it very beneficial to help your your children inshallah and the students alhamdulillah to complete a personal statement with a lot more confidence i hope inshallah um my name is arshad arshad gulchafi i am the director of the career service um, at al nur foundation um it's really our kind of job and our prerogative alhamdulillah to help as many students as we can um whether it's related to any careers issue so if you're thinking about jobs if you're thinking about uh, particular courses or apprenticeships um we are really here to help and assist you inshallah in that um so at the end of the session inshallah i'm going to give you some um kind of details that you can really contact me and email me anytime that you like whether it's parents or students for any advice or information or help that you require so alhamdulillah the service has been really and truly set up for yourselves that is the community and we really want to help and maximize that help for many many people uh, across the communities inshallah so without any further ado um, i'm going to go ahead and um, go through my presentation which will last about 15 20 minutes and then uh, after that inshallah please do put your questions if you have any in the chat um, and i'll do my best to go through all the questions that you may have and just feel absolutely free to ask any questions that you like importantly pertaining to the subject area um uh, inshallah um if if you're not a student of al nur you're not an alumni alhamdulillah you're most welcome as well so it's really open for everybody inshallah and if you have colleagues and friends um you know who want to participate in our webinars please uh, let them know and inshallah we can help uh, you as well <laughs> so i'm just going to bring up my presentation inshallah um so really and truly we are looking today at a personal statement and what is a personal statement so for those who may not know uh, a personal statement is the very important document that you need to complete um when you when when the students are really going for a university course or a university degree it's really that one opportunity where you get an opportunity as a student who wants to apply to university through ucas for example to really show mashallah your talent your unique personality um, and why you feel you are the appropriate person to apply for this particular degree program um so really and truly it gives you kind of full control um you know over the the process this is that one document i would say that gives you full control um inshallah um so it's so so important therefore that we do make this document uh, which is around 4000 characters which is about 41 lines it's really important to personalize it so we we know as admissions tutors uh, or as tutors or lecturers at universities exactly the type of person you are who is applying for this so it's a great opportunity to talk about yourself as i mentioned to talk about your passion inshallah that you have in this particular subject area to enlist for all of the extracurricular kind of subjects that you enjoy that you're involved in whether it's voluntary work that you're doing this is the opportunity to mention in there inshallah and more importantly as well to mention why you have chosen this particular course that you want to apply for as a student in university um so you have this one chance alhamdulillah besides your grades that you're going to get for your a level or the btec national diploma your one great opportunity to showcase what personality you have for this course and why you applied for it um you can imagine you cas receiving around half a million applications yearly uh, of which about 150,000 or so 
are from international students and the remainder from UK. So therefore it's so important with, you're gonna be competing with so many other students across the UK and internationally to just showcase your ability, make it very personal and tell the people, tell admissions tutors and officers your reasons for applying for the course, your attributes, alhamdulillah, and what excites you most, alhamdulillah. And that's what we want to hear. I've been in, as uh, worked in admissions rather, as an admissions officer at FE level. And it is so important that when I kind of read the personal statements, I really want to know about, I don't really want to know about, for example, quotes that you read in books to a great extent. You can certainly quote some, but I want to know about you. What is your passion? Why have you chosen the course? And why have you chosen this particular university to spend the next three to four years in, inshallah? So it's also the personal statement is going to tell us a little bit about your current course that you're doing. That's going to be mentioned in there as well. And about the work experiences you've had. So I mentioned a little bit about extracurricular, but it's about the work experiences that you've had in your life so far. Um, and even more important, if those work experiences are related to, you know, the university course that you want to do, that's even better. That's really, really good because it's very relevant. And that's what uh, university tutors and professors want to look at. How relevant is this to what you're doing currently? How does it correlate with your A-levels and BTEC and the work experience that you've had um, and, and the degree that you want to do? And last but not least, I would say also to highlight kind of your life experiences, you know, that you've had inside of the classroom, outside of the classroom. Um, and that's, that's so, so important. For example, as an admissions tutor, if you mention, you know, for, for instance, you may be a carer, you know, for your mum or dad or siblings. These are the kind of personal things that will really, really make the personal statement stand out and, and, and tell me you know, what kind of person and personality you have. You're a caring person, you're taking care, you're a responsible person, so therefore you can handle responsibility. That's fantastic for university purposes. So alhamdulillah, that's what we're going to be looking at uh, a little bit more in detail today, inshallah. <clears throat> so the personal statement itself, uh, as I mentioned, the, the people who are going to read the personal statement are going to be the university admissions tutors, the lecturers or the professors, etc. And I mentioned two very, very important things that they will look out for. And that is first and foremost, your motivation to do this particular course. That's really, really important. Why have you applied to this particular university? And what is the motivational factor for that application? And secondly, they're looking for the relevance of it. So your A-levels, your BTEC National Diploma, or if you're a mature student, the access course that you've done, how relevant is that to the degree that you want to do? How relevant are your work experiences and life experiences to what you want to do in terms of the degree? So that's what they, they really look for. Now, I know some instances where the university, you know, may ask for, you know, an a, two A grades and a B grade for instance, on a particular course, so two A and B, and, and a student ends up with three Bs, B, B, B. Uh, never lose hope because what will happen is on many instances, the universities look at the personal statement and see what other factors there are in your character, your personality, your qualifications that you brought on board say you didn't make the grade as, as I've just mentioned, but what other things are there that are quite exemplary about you? And that could be in your favor. So therefore it's very, very important that when we get this opportunity to do the personal statement, we really work hard at making it right, the best that we can do, inshallah. So the key things I mentioned on this slide, the first thing is about research is the foundation of a strong personal statement. Uh, I cannot emphasize on this enough. Uh, I, I see many students who have not really researched the kind of university they want to go into or the kind of course they, they want to do. They're not really sure. And it's so important, for example, 
if you're applying and you've done your personal statement, for instance, and you know you you've chosen your five choices, for example, of university, uh, you should be very confident to know in each of those universities you've applied what are the prerequisites for you to be a strong academic student. Uh, you know, how do you manage time and the course? Do you have extra responsibilities that you're aware of? Do you know the kind of units that you're going to do in that particular course and the program? So research is the number one key thing that I think, subhanAllah, on many, many occasions, you know, the students are not doing enough of about their courses um, and about the university as well. What is the standing of the university? Um, those students, for example, who have already done the course that you want to do last year, how many of them got into employment, for instance? These are the kind of things you should be interested in and will make your application much, much more stronger, inshallah. So a general kind of rule is, I've mentioned here, 80% academic and 20% extracurricular. So this is a very general rule where your personal statement, 80% of it really should be talking about your academic ability, the courses you've done, the results that you're you're going to inshallah ascertain with predicted grades, the reasons why you went into them. Um, and that could be all sorts of, alhamdulillah, things that you want to mention, the reasons why, you know, you chose that particular degree program. Is it because of the job? Is it about, alhamdulillah, the uh, kind of accessibility? Is it about, you know, getting a foot, um, not just into that job, but really find out, alhamdulillah, that there's, huge amount of progress once I get my degree after that, or even to do a master's after that. And 20% is extracurricular. So if you have been a volunteer in any organization, you've spent, you know, uh, Wednesday afternoon, alhamdulillah, volunteering a couple of hours in, in a hospital, for example, if you're going for medicine or anything like that, it's very, very favorable. It just shows, mashallah, you're a caring person and you're not just money kind of motivated, you really wanna do something for the community. So please always bear that in mind, the community, the help that you can give and assist and, and get on and do it, alhamdulillah, get on and do it. Cause that's what you want to put down in the personal statement as well. And I mentioned focus on the evidence, make it very clear, make it quite explicit that alhamdulillah, uh, you know, with all evidence is given, for example, you know, you don't want to say in a personal statement, well, I'm a good team player. It's not really good enough. But if you mentioned the, the the team that you worked in and your role in that team, and for example, you may be on a Duke of Edinburgh award or a scheme, you know, and, and working in a team topology. Mention that part of the Duke of Edinburgh award. I managed to work in a team. I was the leader in a particular activity that we had to do, for instance. So give the good examples you know, and obviously be very honest in your application. That's really, really important because if, you, if you're not being honest, um, you know, and, and the admissions tutors ask you, you won't be really able to answer that uh, quite well. Uh, use good English language, plain English language that people can understand, uh, inshallah. Draft and redraft and proofread your personal statement. Really, really important. Now, I know students ask me, you know, uh, how many attempts shall I have of the personal statement, um, knowing that it's 4,000 characters, almost like one page. Um, I, I say, you know, it could take you a week. It could take you a couple of months. I know students have taken a number of months to complete their personal statement. And, you know, there isn't one perfect um, personal statement either. I can't sit here and say to you, this is the one, no, um, because they will vary. They will have their pros and cons for everybody that does them. And that's what the admissions tutors look out for. As human beings, alhamdulillah, we have strengths and weaknesses. We want to just outline those strengths and mention those, alhamdulillah, in our personal statements, inshallah. Um, so ways to kind of construct your personal statements is that kind of helps you, your personal statement really should help you stand out from others with similar grades. One of the things to mention here, really importantly, is that you are doing one personal statement for all of the universities. So if you applied for five, 
uh, that one statement is going to go to five of the universities, which means that you cannot really mention the name of the universities on your personal statement. Um, you know, and, and you mustn't do that. Wherein I know the American system is that you do mention the name because each application is different for each university you apply. But here, alhamdulillah, there's one personal statement. So not to put university names on the, on your personal statement. And you've got to be really tactful because if you're applying for one or two courses, for instance, your personal statement should be very relevant, as I mentioned, to those institutions and the course that you want to do. Um, so secondly, show kind of you're motivated and dedicated. That's really important. I was talking about the relevance of it and, you know, any kind of voluntary work you may have done, what motivates you to do this particular course? Um, was it something that, that you read, for instance, that you thought this is such a good area for me to go into and uh, et cetera? So show the relevant knowledge and experience that you've gained through that research that I was mentioning earlier. Understanding the demands of the course, as I've already mentioned, very important for students to know and understand what are the demands of my course that I'm doing? How many hours a week is it going to be? Is it going to require me to give up some of the things that I really enjoy doing because I have to spend more time on my assignments and my dissertations that I have to do for the university? It may be one of those programs where you know, in geology or geoscience, that you're required to go out every other week and do your experiments. So, you know, are you are you well enough, strong enough? You know, you have enough stamina to do that. These are the relevant things that we need to understand before we go on to do a particular program. Um, now, the university admissions officers, they really look and want to see from your personal statement how you are going to fit in to their kind of environment. So one of the things I strongly recommend, and I was doing this just a couple of weeks ago with some of the students and my own children as well, is to visit the university open days. It's really, really important. I can't emphasize this enough because for those students that went and saw, uh, you know, in, in the kind of events uh, on the open evenings and the open days, they really got to see the department, meet the professors, look at the curriculum, um, get all sorts of goodies back home relate, in related to the course and the program. And they were really welcomed. And that's so important because I think it highlights kind of two things. You're eager and you're committed. So, you know, for university professors, that's what they want to see. You know, you are committed and you're going to be eager to want to do this program. And you've investigated and seen, alhamdulillah, what constitutes you know, a, a, a good person statement linked to a good university. And also last here, tell them that you want, uh, what you want to uh, study. Uh, in other words, what excites you, as I mentioned, uh, about the course and why you have chosen that particular course and that particular program above the other programs, for instance, inshallah. Uh, now, person statement builder, this just gives you a rough idea Alhamdulillah, of the kind of areas we have in the personal statement and what the universities are looking out for. So, for instance, you know, the first thing that we want to mention on, on our personal statement is why are you applying for your chosen course? Um, so what is it about the subject area that excites you? I know, sadly, students, you know, they kind of put, since I was very young, I had a very great interest. Please don't write something like that, it's not really well received and it's not that relevant. So, so important, I tell the students, um, you know, put things like you've chosen this program because you know there's a great market or the labor market trends are so good for this program and I'll be able to get into employment. Or you may want to do a master's after that in a particular subject or related subject. So, so put something very relevant that shows the admissions tutor that you've done your research that's why you're applying for this particular course, inshallah. Secondly, why does the subject interest you? Um, so is it the kind of work that you may want to do, you know, afterwards? That could be a reason after the course that is. Um, you may want to mention here things like, uh, you know, the current affairs, for example. If you want to do a social science degree, you 
interest sparks because you wanted to know about the refugee crisis around the world and you want to do a social science degree to help the refugees, for example. So that's kind of like very relevant and related interest. Give some really strong examples of why you've chosen that particular subject area. Um, and if you've got experience around that, alhamdulillah, that's even better. Even if it's short experience, it's very, very relevant and we should mention it. Next, also, they want to know why you're suitable for the particular course. So your A-levels you've done, the BTEC National Diploma that you've completed, why did you choose those subject areas? Um, you know, and, and why, for instance, and how you're going to be committed towards that subject area or any kind of future career program that you, you've got an interest of. Um, so really mention, alhamdulillah, this section, why you think that you're suitable for the course over the other students, uh, et cetera, and what you're going to bring forward in this particular course that you've chosen. Also, do your current or previous studies relate to the course? That's really important. I have mentioned this before. The admissions tutors um, at the universities really look for how related is your current studies to the degree that you want to do. And uh, you may find it astonishing to learn that, subhanAllah, uh, I have some students, for, for instance, you know, who are not realistic at all. They're not realistic in, in relation to the kind of uh, course they've done and the degree they want to do or the university they want to get into. Because we know there are Russell Group universities. We know that there are much, much more demanding universities of the academic results. The students just aren't realistic. You know, you may not have the appropriate grades they're looking for, but you're going to apply anyway. So we don't want to do that. We want to look at our current studies, our current predicted grades in relation to the course and universities that we have chosen, inshallah. Um, one other thing I mentioned very early on, very importantly, and I'm going to reiterate again, is mention to the universities things like, you know, uh, any concerns a student may have in terms of disabilities. Uh, mention things like, you know, you're a carer to your mum and dad, for instance, if that's the case. Um, and um, or you may have some possible kind of education disadvantage that you may feel. And you may want to mention that. I mean, these are very unique things, very precise things related to you and your family and your situation. And that's what's going to give this strength, alhamdulillah, to your personal statement. And it's going to make it much, much more personal. Um, you know, to you, inshallah. Um, one or two other things I wanted to look at. Uh, two areas I wanted to go over just very quickly. The things to, to do in the personal statement and the things to avoid in the personal statement. So the kind of things you want to do, definitely positively, is you really want to sell your, yourself. In other words, showcase uh, you know, what you can bring to the role. It's really, really important. This is the opportunity for you to do that in the whole of the process. You want to showcase your abilities, your strengths, uh, your confidence, your relevance to the course, as I mentioned. Um, and, you know, just so that when people read it, Alhamdulillah, they get a very good idea of who you are as a student. Also, be very enthusiastic, you know, uh, be very persuasive, be very enthusiastic. Be very shown to be very keen to want to go to this university and do this program. Um, so alhamdulillah, based on your research, I think this will be quite relevant as well. Also be relevant. We've discussed this today quite a few times. Relevance is very important. Do I have the prerequisites in A-levels and BTEC National Diploma to get into this university or to do this course? Um, have I investigated the course? Do I know what's going to be required of me when I join this particular course, et cetera, et cetera. So the relevance is very important. <clears throat> be very clear, positive, we said, clear in your writing, clear in how you construct the personal statement. Always be positive in what you mention. Uh, you know, even if it's something, subhanAllah, that may be perceived as negativity, but be positive in how you present it because you want to be a person who has got a positive outlook on life. And that's really, really important, inshallah. Lastly, what to do is get feedback. Really important. As I mentioned, you may have two, three attempts. You may have 
taken a couple of months to do your personal statement, even for those people who are applying this year or for next year, but get feedback from your careers advisor, you know, in the institution you're at. Um, email me. <clears throat> I'm happy. And I go through many, many personal statements every year. We can help you and we can give you ideas on how best to construct your personal statement, um, we, you know, and, and just look at it from kind of a point of view uh, of how an admissions officer would actually view your personal statement. And we'd be happy to give you that uh, feedback, inshallah. Now, the kind of things on the personal statement you want to avoid is avoid being modest. Which is really importantly, because this is that one opportunity I mentioned, you showcase your passions and you want to write them down. So, so don't be modest. Be very open, truthful, and exactly what you know you want to do, what you want to achieve in life, where you want to go with this degree program. What to avoid is being kind of exa exaggerating. We don't want to exaggerate. We want to be realistic in what we can do and achieve. Alhamdulillah, at the same time, be very positive. What to avoid are kind of quotes from others. I know on some occasions we can do them. We can quote, say you're reading a particular book that you've been reading about that subject area and you want to quote a particular person. But I know myself being in admissions, we really want to hear what you think about the subject area. That's what we want to want. We're really interested to know about your, what excites you about that subject area. And I think that's something that makes it very positive for us, inshallah. Um, don't, uh, what to avoid, not to leave it late. Very important. As I mentioned, it requires some effort. You, you need to start early in your personal statement and work on it. Keep working on it whenever you have the time. So don't just leave it too late or just one attempt. It's not good enough because this is the opportunity, as we know now, I'm there to showcase your ability. What's important also, what to avoid, is you don't want to copy and paste. And I know concern nowadays related to AI, people are really kind of copying and pasting. And I know from the admissions officers from universities and colleges or FE, where they have kind of um, systems in place where they can actually pick up the, you know, the um, what's called copy catch. They have detector systems where they can actually detect if you have a 30% resemblance of a personal statement to another, they, they will pick this up. So I would strongly advise don't do that. Make it your personal, learn from others, get example from others, but really make it personal to yourself. And last but not least, not to worry. Uh, you know, don't worry at all, um, um, you know, about it being very perfect. Because I mentioned there isn't one per perfect personal statement. It's really going to be according to, you know, your alhamdulillah abilities and your capabilities, inshallah. So always be positive, in other words. So summing up, alhamdulillah, what we've discussed uh, today, uh, it's the uh, one section that you have full control over, which is your personal statement, your one chance to market yourself as an individual, about your strengths, about your character, about the reasons why you want to do this course, uh, et cetera, what sparked your interest in this particular course. Um, and same for all your choices. Please bear in mind, as I mentioned, that one personal statement, as you know, will go to the five choices that you have. So it's got to be the same and it's got to be relevant, relevant to those five choices. That's really important. That requires tactics and requires know-how and requires practice to do in Chamba. I also mentioned the maximum of 4,000 characters or you know 47 lines. And that's what you need to be aiming for. So it's minimum 1,000, maximum 4,000. You need to work between those two in Chamba. And don't be kind of tempted, you know, to plagiarize or to copy because they will pick this up. The earlier you start on your personal statement, if your parents, the earlier you can help your children, um, alhamdulillah, the better it will be. Because even if it's, you know, for next year, there's no such time as, oh, it's too early and I'm going to do it nearer the time. No, I, I'd say just prepare now, inshallah, for it. Um, further information, inshallah, your as I mentioned right at the beginning, you're really most welcome to contact me. My email address is here. It's uh, arshad.shafi at alnur.co.uk. Or if you'd like to learn more about 
the careers guidance that we offer and uh, would like some support and help, please go to the website and um, check out our careers page. Alhamdulillah, quite a lot of information on there. We're just updating um, our new booking system as well. You'll be able to avail that as well and learn more about, alhamdulillah, how you can actually con contact us and the ki kind of help that we provide as well to, to our students, inshallah. Um, so I hope and pray, alhamdulillah, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that it's been beneficial to everyone who's joined. Um, and I'm just going to go now over to the chat and we'll see, alhamdulillah, the questions alhamdulillah, that uh, have been asked. <clears throat> One of the first questions from our participants today is, what if you're not a student at al -Nur? Am I okay to stay on? Absolutely, you are. Uh, even more than that, actually, you're most welcome, alhamdulillah, to invite any other uh, students, friends, colleagues, um, you know, to participate in our webinar. It's open for everybody and we provide help for everybody as well. So, mashallah, you're most welcome, alhamdulillah, to bring on board your family, your friends, even parents, alhamdulillah, as I mentioned. We have another question here. Um, just helping my son do his personal statement for GCSE. Alhamdulillah, absolutely. Um, it's a fantastic thing. Parents helping, careers advisors helping our students to achieve the best they can through the personal statement. So please continue with that. And Alhamdulillah, as I mentioned, any help or support you need, uh, you know, anything you have in your mind. I know people have come back and said, you know, what's the difference between GCSEs and IGCSE, et cetera. So don't be embarrassed to try any questions you have. You're most welcome to ask, inshallah. And I will endeavor to get back to you through email. Um, and I think that's that's about it on the questions. Um, and suffice to say, alhamdulillah, I hope and pray that everybody has found uh, this uh, webinar useful, inshallah. If you have, please keep in touch um, and um, share, alhamdulillah, what you have learned today. And please uh, be aware that we've got a whole session. I think for the whole year, we have earmarked uh, every single month almost uh, webinars to continue on various subjects. If you go to the website of alnur.co.uk forward slash careers guidance, uh, you can actually see the other web webinars we've actually conducted that you may have missed. So you're most welcome to have a look at them and go through them, uh, mashallah. So alhamdulillah. Uh, please do have a look at them if if you if you want to. Another question that's just come in. Let's have a read of this one from Brother Ahmed. Uh, what would I write on a personal statement if the career that I'm looking to go into does not have specific course, for example, content creating? Um, if, for example, on a personal statement, um, you know, if the career is not mentioned, um, if if I think if you have any kind of relevance in terms of your work experience, uh, Brother Ahmed, it's fantastic to mention that on there. Um, you know, if, if, alhamdulillah, if anything related to that, you may have some instances where the work experience you have may not, you know, be relevant to what you want to do, like in this case, content creating. But mention, alhamdulillah, your interests for that, how that's kind of sparked, um, uh, you know, et cetera, and why you want to go into that particular field. And that's what universities will look for. Having said that, there are courses, subhanAllah, where there may be a case uh, or instances rather where students do not have the relevant experience, you know, for that particular course. But the experience you have gained, I think it would be very beneficial and perceived beneficially, for example, working in teams, for example, spending some time and effort with other people, trying to help other people, etc. So alhamdulillah, please, um, always think positive and make it relevant if you can. Um, just looking at any other questions. Um, yes, we can, inshallah. There's a question. Please, can you share contact details in the chat? Um, and certainly we can, alhamdulillah, de do that for you as well. We'll do that now, inshallah. Um any any other questions, alhamdulillah, you're most welcome. 
give you another minute or so if you have any other questions. Whilst I just write this down for you in chat. So I've put the uh, details down as well, please. So you're most welcome to email me. Jazakumullah uh, khair. Again, for everybody's participation, we will end here, inshallah. Wa subhanakallama wa bihamdika. Ishadu wa la ilant. Astaghfirullah wa natubu ilayk. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.